At Kaleidoscope, we want to be the home for artists. Uh, we want to be the organization that supports creatives who want to do brave things in virtual reality. They want to push the medium forward in unexpected ways. Nobody inhabits that spirit more than Kate Parsons and Ben Vance. So the Float Museum is a platform for virtual reality projects. We're trying to uh, basically reinvent the museum experience. This particular project, the thing that's really exciting is uh, bringing other artists into VR and like really finding a way to adapt their strong suits and their work and make their vision a reality. The float museum pilot here at SF MoMA has been a great step forward for us because it allows us to kind of try out how does this, this virtual museum, how does it actually work in the real world? The other part of the SF MoMA collaboration is, is you know, how do we work with an institution like SF MoMA and how, what does that look like? What are all the moving parts that we need to deal with and consider for pulling something like this off? The Float Museum is like a museum within a museum. When SF MoMA first started talking to the team behind the Float Museum, we were really excited about the possibility of blending performers and and art experiences together in a virtual environment. So this pilot allows us to really explore the ways that um, VR can be experienced in an art museum context, but also explore different ways we can bring people in and out of the virtual world. This mix of the social before and the social during is really, is really interesting and, and, and could present a future way that we as a museum thinks about how we present VR to audiences. But we're hoping that by contextualizing the VR experience into more of a choreographed narrative that we're able to bring the physical world and the virtual world together but then also make it more of a natural experience. The important part about Float and what it really is to me is a, is a way of accurately framing pieces that we do think are pushing VR forward. Um, I really hope that in the future a lot more museums will understand that like the really compelling part about VR is the fact that it like bridges this like really difficult divide between the digital and the physical like it's a much more physical digital technology. We want to be in the same class as this amazing museum that we're in right now. We're inspired by what people have done with cultural institutions just like the one that we're standing in today. And we think we have the opportunity to become that for this new medium. Oh, my God.